。好，第三十一条啦，讲翻呢个实验咯，下面边一个步骤咧系必要去做嘅。咁啊，講出實驗題目啦，兩 Sir 都一定會提你㗎啦，搞掂晒個 I V D V C V 佢咯。D V 就係我哋想量度嘅嘢，就係、是、成個盆栽嘅重量啦。I V 就係我哋想去研究嘅嘢，就係、是、其中一個環境因素啦。而 C V 呢，就係當我哋研究其中一個環境因素嘅時候，其餘嘅環境因素就要 keep constant， 就要一模一樣啦。例如我想研究光度對於棵植物失水嘅速度影響嘅話呢，對於濕度啊、風速啊、温度啊，我就要保持不變咯。而呢度呢，我想提多一樣嘢，就係、是、隱藏嘅 C V 題目冇講到㗎，所以先考到你啫嘛，係咪？就係、是、啦。任何嘅 set up 都要一模一樣嘅，就係、是、泥土嘅重量同埋嗰個盤栽個盤嘅重量啦。所以啦，成條題目最關鍵嘅概念呢，我哋成日話啦，要量度棵植物嘅重量改變，雪穿了呢，我哋係期望呢個重量嘅改變呢，係基於失水所造成嘅啫。即係話泥土嘅重量唔應該變，個盤嘅重量唔應該變，咁我哋啦做一擊破咯喎。第一個執走啲落葉啊，呢、这個做法嘅話咧，就會令到我哋成棵嘢連埋個盤啊，連埋啲泥土咧係輕咗嘅。咁但係呢個輕唔係因為失水啊嘛，係因為你執走咗啲枯葉啊嘛。去到 C 咯，一日,日林下棵植物都需要啩，系啦，好多人都揀呢個答案噶，因為水緊要啊嘛，兩 Sir 你唔加水棵植物會死嘅，我同意啊，但係你加完水之後，成個 set up 咪會重咗咯，所以加水呢個概念咧，唔係每一日都加噶，係喺做實驗之前嗰一日加咗，跟住往後嗰五日就唔加噶啦。去到 D 呢，就查啲花市拎喺個葉底個雪，呢、这個動作呢，就會將我哋氣孔啦去堵塞咗佢啦，從而呢減低個失水速度嘅。呢、这個仲衰，因為啦你喺個環境因素以外加咗一個非環境因素，所以 D 呢個步驟呢，其實係多餘嘅，因為就算你唔查花市拎喺個葉底嘅話呢棵植物都可以失水㗎，你咪量度緊成棵植物嘅失水囉。除非你成個實驗係想量度棵植物嘅葉面嘅失水，所以你先要查花市拎喺葉底嘅啫。所以答案呢就係 B 啦。我哋喺個盤嗰度呢，包個膠袋，就令到喺泥土入面嘅水分呢，就唔會因為蒸發而散失咗去。個泥土嘅重量冇改變，個盤嘅重量又冇改變。從而當我哋量度完成棵盤栽，佢個重量真係輕咗，喎，我哋就可以去諗下啦。究竟系咪棵植物失水呢？嚟咁两 s 再想提多一样嘢，就系呢条题目啦，有啲咩嘅变奏呢？佢就会问下你咯。呢个实验咧当中，你有冇啲咩嘅假设噶？嗱，根据翻咧我哋嘅 critical concept， 成个盆栽之所以轻咗咧，系因为佢失水嘅啫。所以我都要假设翻呢棵植物咧。喺佢成個做實驗嘅過程當中，佢總會做下光合作用啩，佢總會做下呼吸作用啩。但係呢兩個反應係唔會影響到佢呢棵植物嘅正重增加或者正重嘅減少。其實一棵植物如果佢嘅光合作用係快咗嘅話咧，佢會整多咗嘢食噶嘛，佢會重咗噶嘛。又或者啦，佢光合作用係慢過呼吸作用嘅，其實佢會輕咗噶嘛。咁都係符合唔到我哋成個實驗想做嘅嘢，就係睇下係咪因為失水所導致嘅重量改變啊嘛，係咪？所以呢，我哋就淨係關注喺個失水個樹啦。三四 ，Question thirty one is asking in the above study which of the following steps is necessary. So for the concept checking, Mr. Lang always tell you about the I V C V D V in the experiment questions. So we have to realize the experimental setup first. For the D V, what we are measuring is the weight of the potted plant. I V, what we are studying, that's one particular environmental factor. For example, light intensity. And for C V, that's the factor we need to keep constant. In this experiment, if I'm going to study the effect of light intensity, so for the temperature, relative humidity, and the wind speed, I need to keep them constant. This experiment, it doesn't tell you there is a hidden C V. That's the weight of the soil, the weight of the pot. So for the critical concept is that it's necessary to make sure that the change in the weight of the potted plant was due to transpiration of the plant only. So let's take a look at the answer. Option A: Remove any fallen leaves. This step will result in a decrease in the weight of the potted plant. Water the plant every day in the morning. Lot of students they chose this answer. They may think that water is necessary for the plant. Yeah, I agree. However, this step will result in an increase in the weight of the potted plant. So you may ask, do we need to water the plant, Mr. Le?、Uh, yes, 
but we only watered the plant before the start of the experiment. And for the following five days, we do not water the plant at all. And for option D, smear Vaseline on the lower epidermis of the leaves. This step will block the stomata and reduce the transpiration from the lower epidermis of the potted plant. But actually, this step is not necessary. You can just leave it the whole plant to do the transpiration. Is still fine, right? So that's why the answer is B. We need to wrap the pot with the plastic bag. This step is necessary to prevent the water loss due to the evaporation from the soil. So it's more convincing that the change in the weight of the potter plant was due to the transpiration of the plant only. So for this question, any possible question variation? It may ask you any assumption you need to make in this experiment. According to the critical concept, it's necessary to make sure that the change in the weight of the potter plant was due to transpiration of the plant only. So we need to assume there is no net change, no matter increase or decrease of the rate of the potter plant due to photosynthesis or respiration by the plant. It's because if the photosynthesis rate is higher, it can make more food and increase the mass. Or the photosynthesis rate is lower than the respiration. So there will be a decrease of the weight 